Eugene, don't cry! I got you! Oh my goodness! We are goaded! Yeah, this is Sean Dex. Welcome to Killer Frequency. This is a game about, uh, uh, I, I just realized I don't know what the game is about. Killer Frequency is a first person horror puzzle game set in 1987 that puts you in the role of a late night radio talk host, talk show host in small town America whose callers are being stalked by a mysterious killer. This interests me because it's multiple choice and I think it has different endings and basically we gotta try to, you know, get the good endings. That's my type of game where I'm making choices and it impacts the end. So let's see uh, how this goes. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I'm in the I'm, I'm in the back of an alley. Oh, this already made me kind of stressed. I'm not gonna lie. Just, I don't know why the droning that just happened here. I don't know. Pick up objects, click to pick up objects. Okay, can I throw it? You can hold two objects. Swap objects with this. Oh. Then place, press this to place object and then, oh, okay. Oh, I can throw objects too. Pick it up and press R to throw it. Oh, nice. So I threw it in there. Oh, I didn't know that there would be a lot of moving around in this. Who rolled the bottle? Is this locked? I didn't know there'd be a lot of moving around. Inspecting objects. Press E to begin inspecting and, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Inspecting the objects. Oh, and I can move this around. Okay, okay. Oh, that was loud for a cup. Why didn't it shatter? Crouch. Okay. Am I going to have to run or anything? Can I open here? Yo, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh my goodness. Um, what? What's going on? Who's opening the door? What? What's going on? What's going on? Oh my goodness! That was so unnecessary! Bro, you got time to do your hair? This is- Oh my goodness! Yo, that was an intense beginning. Okay, all right, all right, I see you, I see you. Hey, uh, hey, killer frequency, uh, uh, oh, the beat stopped. I was getting ready to spit. Not really, I actually didn't know what I was gonna say after that. <laughs> oh my goodness. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh, hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I Ooh. Uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? Ooh. No, I, I almost so I, I play a guy something. named Forrest. Oh. And here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. Hi, Peggy. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cat. Okay. You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. This is complicated. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? Um, <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? What? We have to do these checks every time. And Ooh, do you I... have to call him that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show. And he pays I... us to call it a pre-flight check. But okay, if okay. you're Hold sure on. you don't want to. Honestly, can I, can I throw this in there? Hold on. Uh oh, I miss. Oh, oh. Do I need a tutorial on how to use the DJ deck desk? Yes, I don't right, know how to use right. it. Let's get through this. I do not know Alrighty, how to use this. this is your captain speaking. Really? Come how do I use it? How do I use it? Have a bit of fun with it for once. This is cool. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubularants. I like Peggy. Let's start with record playing. Peggy's so high energy. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Grab a record, Easy. stick it on the player, and hit play. Got it. Nice. Great. Now turn it off. Okay. Stop. All right. right, up next, phone line buttons. Okay. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. There we go. Oh, 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 wait, where do I do that? Is that line one? All right, Peggy, ready for you on line okay, one. Okay, okay. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. 
You get it? I yeah. like how interactive this right. tutorial is. I love Great. it. And button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. So this is the Press producer line? Press need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? Is that the they Peggy haven't button? invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone. Okay. Line. I labeled it for you. Thanks, Peggy. <sighs> love you, girl. Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. Yeah, I'm why am I playing now, such a I? boring okay. dude? Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster? What? That's not an easy one. What's the sound blaster? Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. 189.6. There we go. Okay. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty oh, much everything. it's like a GoXLR. But let's test it with a record. Sound mixer. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Okay. Let's pick this up again. Put it there. Press play. And then change the volume of it. All right. Oh. Seems to be all working. We done? This is so cool. Captain? I feel like I'm running my own radio show. <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time. Yeah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. This it's is so my cool. Fun side that gets me in trouble. Now let's get the show started. This After is so your fun. Introduction. Our first segment is guess that scream. Guess that I scream. Thought that was a joke. Nope. And don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Wait. So, uh, uh, what? Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Okay. Oh, pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Okay, okay. Okay, you're live in Oh, we're three, live! Two. 189.16. 12 o'clock? Oh, we're in this. We're in this now. I'm scared. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, scream, The Scream. The Scream. Before we start taking your calls okay, tonight okay. on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let okay. you know about a okay. special competition we have for you this evening. <sighs> Okay. Guess that scream. Guess that this scream. Is okay. One of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. Guess that scream. How's I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. Okay. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe? Saw oh my off goodness. Finger, this or is discover the corpse of a loved one. Oh my That's goodness. <laughs> now, for us, a morbid the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close. Where's the scream? Call in to Guess, Guess that, that scream. scream. Okay, what tape? Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. Uh, You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Where do You're I? You're in Gallows Creek. You get to be your own tape guy. Oh Come wow! On, I gave it to you yesterday. What? Do I need to press one of these? Are these tapes? Forrest, you do have the tape, I, right? You knew we were doing. Are these this it? Tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible. Guys, idea. they're waiting on the line. Is this it? No, I. I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea. Is this it? But I don't even know if this is it. Fun. We're going what? to need to scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so. Wait, so I should just scream? Are you serious? Really? I have to scream? Peggy, you want you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Right, like Come you on, know, Forrest, he, he be taking care it. of his voice. You know, it's I understand as a musician. Already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Okay. Oh God. Sorry okay, they're waiting. That. They're <laughs> waiting. I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then, then call, call in to guess, guess that, that scream. scream. Okay, the drowning one, the protrubed yeti one, or the falling from a cliff. Falling from a cliff is like that looks funny. <laughs> I was literally well, folks, expecting that. There you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win. Two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and yeah. one free fried dough. Fried dough. Fried dough. Just Yum. call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Okay. Now, what is this? Here's some music while you get dialing. Oh, oh. Sorry, here's the music. We gotta do our job. I wonder if this is copyrighted music. Hopefully it's not. 
Some responses have a time limit, but it might be better to not respond in some situations. Should I introduce a song? Oh, Time's yeah, introduce it. The journey that is Blast oh. Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Okay. Oh, God. So. Boys, that was amazing. Okay. Thanks. I have <laughs> I to do wait everything. I what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell? I gotta make sure I pay attention to the. To Light the enough for us. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, of course, hey. there's a call coming in. Call? Time to turn the music off. Okay, stop the music, stop the music. Stop the music. And press the call. Welcome to 189.16, the scream. Caller? Okay. You're talking to Forrest, Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. Who's this? My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Why is 911 calling? Shouldn't you be working? Leslie, I've got to say I'm always happy to have a caller, but uh, shouldn't our 911 operator and police dispatcher be minding the phones? Right? What? Oh, Forrest, you have no idea. What? Listen, I found a body. I need your help. Why do you need me? I'm a radio host. 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? What? First, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. What? I think this is real. No, but Maggie, why is she calling I'm us? I'm happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Oh, what do I do? You should call Leslie, the sheriff. If you're telling the truth. Why are you telling me? You should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Then why are you Wait, still calling what? me? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Oh. Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response uh -oh. from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station uh, and... I missed. I found him. Um, then why are you telling oh, us? Oh, on Sheriff our Matthews. live Do you know what radio show. Him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... Damn. I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet cases. I don't know if you should be reporting I this. I think he tried to shoot at whoever on it was, but... the radio show. What? Hello? Oh, where are the other officers? Is there anyone else at the station? Well, yeah, is there anyone is else? Is there anyone else at the station? And anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked Jeez. everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out. Tied oh. up and locked in a holding cell. Why did not I called you right after I found her? God. Why was she tied Wait. up but the other person wasn't Please tied up? Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Mm. Leslie, actually, do you have any idea who could have done Are you this? sure he's on leave? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. What if he did it? Leslie, I mean, he was jealous you of need the to other call over to police or officers quiet or something. They need to send someone over from their department. Let's do this. I tried, but I can't Dang call it. anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going uh, be on. Be careful, Leslie. Bring help back with me. Be careful, because I, I don't know. While there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. <gasps> Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. What? Why me? I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. What is I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I mean, he kind of has a point. He has a point. Me. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. Dang. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable Dang. skills between the two. Like? What do I do? Like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Okay. People talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do All right. know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas. What if work Peggy's the, the serial killer? Let's have some on the job training right Did now. I, I have uh, an emergency. Uh, 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 I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. Okay. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the key into the cell after they locked the door. Is what? there any way you can reach the keys? No. 
There aren't any bars to the cell. Okay. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's Maybe she did it to herself. Maybe she tied herself up. There's I can't believe I be still missed way it. In. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, try to break down the door. Find another way into the cell. Find another set of keys. There's probably more keys. You've got to have more There's than one be set, of keys. set of keys. Somewhere this can't be just the only key pair of keys. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Come on. Check the officer's desk. Check Sheriff Matthews. Check Sheriff Maybe Matthews. Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... Yeah. How come I can't throw know. it? Throw I it. couldn't see any at a glance. Are you kidding? I didn't really look up close. We're... One second. So basically, we're in a small Don't town. The 911 operator's what? leaving town and giving us all the 911 calls. That might be them. Oh, we're doing good so far. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Nice. We, like we're Sheriff already Matthews making good choices. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. Okay. So far, so good, I suppose. <gasps> How are you feeling, Forrest? Oh. I can leave? Oh, how am I feeling? Uh, I'm quitting KFAM if this is a prank. I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, what? I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like, like this I guess happening I can't leave. in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. Okay. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. What are these? Come on, Martinez. There we go. Just gonna sit you Dang in it. your office chair. Okay, so why? why I'm trying to, I'm trying to think and speculate what happened. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. Okay. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Okay, so you're taking the only other police officer with us. You're leaving. We're on our own. I guess it's the That's right thing to idea. do. I guess. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, do Forrest. This? You and Peggy just work together like oh, you did oh, earlier. What the? You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh! What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on oh, fire? Oh no! How the did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? what? No, no way. This can't. Oh, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's Why? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask and how the what? hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling, the whistling man? man? Who's what the kind whistling of serial man? killing? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's what the heck? You think he attacked Sheriff What, Matthews so before he gets Martinez? yet, he goes? He's coming this way. Um, 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 lock the door. Stay inside and lock the door. Oh my goodness. Right. Oh, that was timed. That was timed. Come on, you need to focus. We need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Um, 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 take the police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. Yeah. I Oh my yeah. goodness, you gotta answer this. Yeah, the, but, the questions are coming faster. Let's check if Martinez has any. Uh, Yo. Your pocket there, that Deputy. scared me. Yeah. I, when I saw that yes. there was a question going, I didn't know that it was um, squad car three. timed. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Okay, okay. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. Yeah, you know, I'll I be, I be using Wait. my brain sometimes. How am I supposed Most to get time? us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Um, Take, 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 take. Mm, Martinez. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Yeah. Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Oh. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. Okay, then take the other guy. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Can I see where he, she is on the map? I... It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend what? himself. That's what I was thinking. That's why I didn't say his gun. Is there a weapon lockup? Is there a weapon? Is there, there must a lockup? Be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. Dang. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? Any other weapons? I didn't see anything earlier? 
What? What? Uh, I'm trying to see. Where's where's? Oh, this is the radio station. This is where I am. So where is the the police station? All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one okay. if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Okay. Baton, pepper what spray, or, la or taser. Baton, pepper spray, or laser? Pep? No, he's wearing a mask. Taser, taser, I mean, taser. It's got to be taser, taser. Right? He's wearing a mask. He's wearing a mask. There's oh, there's the sheriff's office. What? What? No. No, I, I can't hear anything. We can't hear anything. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Oh no. Be careful. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. I'm scared. I'm scared like for you, Leslie. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Um, I'm scared for her. Okay, Deputy Martinez. If you can hear me, it's time to move. Oh no. Just lean on me. I'm scared. It's getting more intense. Yep. Like it kind of just picked up like there that. You go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? Leslie, you're a so, goat. Here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Yes, if finally. I <sighs> Speak to you soon. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Good luck, Leslie. Oh, Good let's, luck, let's, Leslie. let's be a little more positive. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. I hope we make it through this. You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Yeah. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. I guess. Sheesh. That was stressful. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Leslie? Hello? Forrest? Hey, Betty? Leslie. This is Leslie. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, we're there, we're there, we're here, we're here. 10 4, uh, 10 4, 10 4. Big 10 4 there, good buddy. I don't know what that means. I really I'm don't know what that means. You made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Nice, nice, Deputy nice. Martinez and the passenger seat still have cold. Wait, why is the music picking up? I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. Okay, just, so just continue driving. Yeah. Get, get back! No! Get we hear the whistling! What's happening? Leslie, what's happening? What's, what's happening? happening? Oh, uh oh, oh, he's he's there. Yeah, take that. The taser, she used the taser, she used the taser. The taser worked. Drive. Leslie, drive. Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. Oh my goodness. We're out of here. My, my camera. Okay. Are you two Leslie, okay? Are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser. Definitely oh my goodness, rifle. I'm so glad we were smart oh with it. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. I, yeah, well, this is why we have to, you have you to be thinking. Life. You gotta be thinking this like me. You can't get like you. me. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Yo, we have to actually really think Leslie, of the consequences. How long is going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowheresville, but it's pretty close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Oh my so goodness, so six hours? Oh, so we're gonna probably do from 12 to 6 a.m. I guess we'll, we'll do, do our, our best. best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, once I'm in. Okay, we have to really be. I'm so disturb. glad I'm such a good Forrest, decision Peggy, maker. Go. Oh! I'll be out of range soon, but I'll okay. radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Okay. Try not to crash. Try not to crash. We need you back in one piece. Oh Good my luck, goodness. Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Woo! Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Wow, we're actually that was Please all sure on air. Safe. And all Leslie, on air. We're counting on you. Okay. We're gonna get back to the show. Meanwhile, isn't are we doing guess that scream on your mind or have any information about this whistling man character? Then give us a call. Mm -hmm. We'll talk here on 189.16. The, the scream. scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Okay. Oh. Uh. Uh. Let's. Let's. No. No. Put that. Down. Put that back. Late night lurkers. If you dare. Yes. 
Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? Hey. This guy's going to kill half hey. the town in four hours. True. Forrest, that's this not town helpful. sounds like it's really small. I know. I, know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, <laughs> and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Oh, that's crazy. No reason for it. No That's motive. crazy. That's insane. Dead. Oh, 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 uh, and he's come back tonight? And he's come back tonight? Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well... So what, a copycat? It was a copycat? night, actually. The police cornered him and he jumped into the. It river. might be a copycat. Maybe not the His real deal. Oh, wait, no. Maybe he was just so waiting. Is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? What is the story, the story here? The story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Can I leave? Other than now? we have a whistling killer okay. on our hands tonight, I don't know. I'm scared that I'll be able to see the killer coming like towards me. Oh, wait, wait. Is there a question? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Guess we'll find I out. Guess we'll find out what we're dealing with. Let me close with, the door. Whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I close guess. Close it. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35. Oh, this is my first 35. night on the job, is it? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. I don't think no, 3,500. 3, yeah, people. I think. I, I don't think that many people in this small town listen to. We only have 35 serious? listeners in this we whole only town. Have 35 listeners? Why are we doing this radio show? Yeah. It's a school night. <sighs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand. That is. Oh. Wow, How this town is before, tiny. You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Oh, yeah. wow. Before that. Was Forrest Around famous? Five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to. 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only what? dream of that. Five million. Five million? What happened five to million? you, bro? Why did yeah, you get demoted? It's just the way it goes. Why did you get demoted? The man hasn't killed me yet. To this tiny I town. Guess. You were in Chicago, yeah. man. I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Oh, Take oh. it when you're ready. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right, no more music, and let's take the call. Hello, let's caller. be ready. Let's be ready. You're live on 189.16. The, the scream. scream. Is everything uh, all right? Can you stop with the ASMR? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you? Uh, hello? Hello? Bro, I will mute you. I will literally mute you. I will call Peggy. Peggy. Okay, what's your name and Peggy. why are you calling in? Unconvincing whistling. <laughs> oh, this you guy. You know my name. No. Oh, this guy can't whistle. I've come back from oh, this is definitely a prank call. To kill again. Bro, you I'll show you a shame. real whistle. <laughs> you don't have to do this. Do you accept requests? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the yeah. obituaries. Uh, maybe. How much you charging? You must make a sacrifice to us. Bro, that is the most unconvincing. Us. I, I mean, me. Let me guess. Is this sacrifice money? We want cheese dusted pretzels. Cheese dusted pretzels? I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll Bro, you are probably 15 at most. Face off. I'm cutting them off. Not yet. I want to deal with Not them. Yet. I want to deal, deal with them. Uh, we also want a mega call. Okay. Okay, I'll do uh, it. Okay, so. Cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. Okay. You got it, whistling man. 
a wise choice. Okay. See you soon, Boris Nash. Wait, I hope that he. I hope those Needless kids. Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. And none of you should be going out tonight either. Wait! We've got an actual killer out Oh there. no, are the kids actually gonna go anyway, out and then get this caught? This next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your Did I just endanger them? Locked. Did I endanger them? Wait. What's this called? The flow. Crying for help. Yo. Introduce the song. Now it's time to go with The, the flow. flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. Kids pretending to be a killer who right hey. now is stalking the town. Kids are so thing. unserious. A thing? Ugh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? That guy could not whistle for funny, nothing. But it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no I'm scared. I feel like I feel like I endangered those kids, low-key. Leslie. No, that that's real. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. Okay, right. let me stop the music. And then we take the collar. Hello, collar. You're, You're live, live on, on the scream. scream. With me, Boris Nash. Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. Oh, oh, oh. I need the sheriff right oh, away. Oh, this is a serious call, serious okay, call. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. Okay, okay, our first 911. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp and I need the cops. Okay, now. we gotta really lock in. Um, the cops aren't I'm sorry, coming. But the cops aren't coming. We need to really lock Leslie's in and help Wayne this Henderson woman. For help. What? God. Listen, you gotta help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run. Jazz run, okay. Like dressed like the whistling man is after me. Okay, okay, okay. In hand. Okay, okay, okay. Oh God. Okay, so what do, we do? What, do we do? what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? A jazz run? Okay, let's focus. Let's focus. Even though I wanna ask what a jazz run is. Let's say, where are you where now? Are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flipped. What exactly is it? My... Ooh, keys collected, records collected, paper ball baskets made from desk. First of all, what is a jazz run? I'm imagining, I'm imagining her running like, like what you know how like people like do the can can? You know, like can you can you do the can can? You know what I mean? Like, what is a jazz run? Are you running while tapping your feet? Like, like, is, what, what is that? He's somewhere along the way. Okay. I never locked the door, Lisa. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Um, uh, um, can you go back and find your keys? Sounds like you lost them. I think you'll be fine. Is there... Oh, I don't think you should go back and find your keys. Is, is there, there anywhere, anywhere else, else you can go? You can go? Do you have any I don't think you should try nearby. to find your keys. Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... No, she can't go back out there. She can't do that. I hear him. Now that sounds like a convincing whistle if I ever heard one. Oh, he's back. <gasps> Look, I don't know a thing about cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys. And okay. you're gonna have to help me. Wait, okay, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, you sound so intense. Helped. I got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. Okay. I'll be back when I find it. Okay, okay, Sandra. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. The scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Okay, so... Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, This Sandra. is for you, Sandra. Um... Uh... No, put that down. No, drop it. Drop it. What's this one? The word smooth. It's just a Enjoy song. this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song. The, the word. word. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? A. The Tamora Twins a. or something. Timberline Twins talk motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? So, yeah. Why, how come they're not the helping though. her with her starter know, car? But they're not even related. Shouldn't they help Weird. start her car? I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. <gasps> oh, I can! Yo, I can explore the whole office! Oh, I probably should hurry. There's a bathroom, bathroom. Am I gonna have to hide? So locked doors, so few keys. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. 
Christine's mechanic on duty. Okay. What is this? Oh my goodness, there's gonna be so many puzzles. Oh, maybe it's in here. Oh, that's wait, that's I'm Peggy's. Not in there tonight. That's Peggy's room. Twins, I borrowed your car theft ma magazine. This has to be important. Oh? There's a there's a magazine. There's a magazine we gotta look for. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's in here. Oh! This looks useful. There we go. Oh, that's why this. The ranch rules aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. In the bathroom. Ah! We got that. We got that. We got that. We got that. Place items in the tray to hold them while in calls. In what tray? What tray? Okay. You find anything? Yeah. Yes. I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Perfect. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back Head with one eighty nine point sixteen. Okay. The scream. How are you holding How are you up, holding Sandra? Up, Sandra? <gasps> the creeps looking through the parking lot trying to find me. Okay. 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 How do we start this baby? What? I need to read it. How do I read it? Oh. Oh! Use a screwdriver as a key. Um, put the screwdriver in ignition and twist clockwise. Put the screwdriver in the ignition. Okay, okay, okay. And twist clockwise. Here goes, okay. baby. I... Okay, okay. I... Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's move on. Move on to step two. Don't hit the steering wheel with the hammer. Unscrew the, Unscrew steering, the steering column. column. Do not hit the steering oh, wheel. Nothing then go honk and light up the two, whole. One, two. Why is she saying jazz turn? Oh, God. How long are these screws? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Covers off. Look. There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up. There we go. Right there. Oh, I think I can see it now. Okay, tell me exactly what you see. Do your jazz breathing? No, tell me exactly tell me what you exactly see. Exactly what you see. Okay. Tell me what you see, man. I mean, woman. Wire, I mean, wire, person. A, wire, a green wire and a oh boy. brown wire. What's the serial number on What's the steering column? Serial call? number. Okay, we got. Oh my gosh, look closely. Look closely. The number is five seven six eight nine four three two zero. Oh. If there is a six, it doesn't start with a five. Green and brown. If there's a four before a three. Strip the blue okay. and red Okay, oh my wires goodness. And twist Hopefully we're not together. taking too long. I'm trying to analyze. Blue and red and twist and turn and... Oh, oh, oh it won't turn off. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh, no. Radio. Cut the pink radio wire. What do I do? Left, cut the left wire. Left wire, left cut wire. Cut the left wire. Oh my goodness. I, was, I just saw that note where it says cut the left pink wire. I... Oh no. What? He's walking toward the car. Strip oh, the purple wire. Do do? So that was the wrong one? If there's a zero at the... Oh. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. Oh, I think that's All what right. I have to do. We take the red and the yellow. Okay, okay, okay. And we turn. And we twist. And we Perfect. turn. Perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Strip the purple wire. Oh. Brush it. Strip okay. the purple wire and brush against the twisted wire. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Don't okay. electrocute yourself. We strip and we brush and... <gasps> now run! Go! Yes, Peggy, we did it! We did it! We did it! Thanks, Sandra. We 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 did it. We did it. We did it. Our first 911 call. Nice work, Forrest. We actually did that. Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered her call. Ah ha ha, Peggy. Let's drop that. Uh oh. Is she good? We did that. Oh my goodness. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. Yes. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to 
Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Yes, Take it away, period. Forrest. Period. Let Storm Riders take, take you, you on a rock. rock and roll ride with We're kind of doing good. Jam. We're kind of doing our thing. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows they... Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Uh, really? Miserable? I mean, it's a small town. It's a small town, but I don't think it has to be miserable. Um, eh, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal, Peggy. I hope the killer is done for the night. Yeah, but maybe he has to take a nap. Soon. Me too. Hopefully he takes a nap or something. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Please, let's do it. That'd probably be a good idea. 12.42. It's been 42 minutes. Caller on line one. Let's stop this. 12.42 is so random. Okay, let's... We have a call waiting. Let's see what this call's Evening, about. This it's us. Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash Post and Shawnix. 189.16. The and screen. Peggy! And tonight's 911 stand in. The Scarlet hey, Sisters My and name Peggy. Is Brian? Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hi, Brian. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hey. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. It's kind of crazy that all this is live. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there. Ah, uh, you know, it's I just... I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza oh. here at Ponty's Pizza. Hey, thanks, wow, man. We, who doesn't like that's free pizza? That's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Forrest, take the oh, pizza. It's the least I can do. And take the if pizza, you man. Like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals. Yeah. We'll have you eating for pennies. And I hope the food Sounds doesn't great, bro. taste too sweet. Let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? That was pretty tasteless. That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. I have to say. I'm sorry, Get it tasteless? Because well, pizza? Tasteless? You or anyone else of coming on down to Pony's Pizza. I feel like this guy is just we advertising on air. That's all he's doing. Our famous Can we mute him? And pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Pony's Pizza this weekend. I'm trying to you turn it down. To for one slice to get turn it down. I mean, you're just calling in to advertise your shop. Turn it oh, down. Peggy, hang up on him. It won't let me turn it down oh, all the way. Real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now I can't even turn it down all sponsors. the way. You know how to play an ad, right? Yes. Sure. Is that it? Play. Done. Is that a word from our sponsors? Um, is that from our sponsors? Ancient wisdom. Do you want to double your I hope that was the right one. Ready to unlock your I, it was, it was, it was. I, I, I kind of was just guessing. Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of, of Kung Rai Tay. Kung Ra Tay. Direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. What's the four qualities? The power of the alligator. The power of the alligator. The tarantula. The tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The tuna. The, of the scorpion. The scorpion. The of the bullfrog. The bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after yes. only five 30-minute video sessions. Yes. Ultimate yes. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours Ultimate now. power and wisdom can be yours. For only $24.99. Nice. Thanks, Robbie. Never forget the element of surprise. Oh, it's not done. It's not done. Two additional. The tornado technique and karate love making. Call today. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Uh, Don't pretend like you're not interested. 
Yeah. Do we have another wow. caller? What a deal. Only twenty four ninety nine. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for yeah, the airtime. Yeah, we're not just but saying that. They pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Next caller. caller. All right, Welcome all right. Who to are we going to help now? With me. Who are we ready Boris to help now? Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. Oh, this is a... At the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait. Uh-oh. Horace Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. This guy sounds like the guy from Spider-Man. Another one? Um, Leslie left me in charge. I am 911. I am 911. I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. Just for tonight. Don't Man, worry about son, it. I don't care who you are. Just put me on. This guy sounds Sheriff just Matthews. like, um... Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh, his dead? name! What happened? Did you witness the incident? I forgot his name. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Uh, we're live on air. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Yeah, we're live, bro. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah. You, there's, a there's a lot, lot happening, bro. Happening. Just speed up. Catch you up. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Uh oh, uh oh. I don't know if it's a teen though. They get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's wow. eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered. Okay, it. man. I don't think it's you a teen. Don't understand? That's not a prankster. That's Where are the you? whistling man. Of course it's not. Where is this guy it's staying? A stupid kid. Gallo's reporter, he's right here. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. I'm gonna try again with this. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm Dang looking it. at on the security monitor. Dang but it. if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? How'd that just... Room, upstairs. We got security cameras okay, he's all upstairs. around the building. Okay. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. So stay inside. Lock yourself in. Can you get out of there? You cannot Maurice, take the whistling man. This man sounds old. This man ah, sounds old, bro. I sure as shit hope so, kid. <gasps> but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Oh, he's... That he's... crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Locking the stairs. Okay, so he can't I'm get out. the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. Yeah, he's, uh, this guy sounds a little bit something. old. He's talking like an old head, kind of like back in my day. All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? What? We have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different oh, rooms. Oh, so we can help him get to different, different rooms, right? So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Yeah. Okay, okay. And buy Maurice time. Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I oh, can I'm hear mistaken. you, you know. That's yeah, we're trying to help you out. Killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. Dang it. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're going to need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the okay. entire office floor. Okay, we probably can find that. delivered while the killer is en route. We can still do that. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't Oops. go anywhere. Okay. What do we do? What, what, the, the, what you're not gonna tell us to do? What? What's going on? Maurice? You don't think the killer got him, do you? I didn't hear no scream. Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second. Bro, before. run then. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Okay, okay. Go. Go. Is this it? This must be it. Okay, okay. Okay. Is that the exit? Maybe that's the exit. Okay. We're good. Peggy? Hey, there we go. did you get the fax? Yep, we did. Yes. Yes, it's I It's right have. here. So let's look closely. Let's look closely. Mr. Russell? You One, two. Oh, this is. Still with us? Oh, no. I can't. One, two, you get my three, four. Yes, I got it right yeah, here. I got it right here. Good. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, okay, we need to okay, actually folks, like we're so back on the line with Maurice. The archives? Let's see if we can The editor's help room. Avoid the whistling man. Why are we That's treating this like this is entertainment? We're trying to save this guy's life. Searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Okay. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. Uh oh. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again. We want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension okay, okay, okay. number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, okay. What extension should I call? So let's have him call the the um editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Oh, I Got better it. not mess this up. I don't want. I don't want ready. to fail anybody. Right, Where do I need to go? Go to. The archives? You're moving to the archives. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already. Okay, there. we're good. We're good then. Not bad, Nash. As I'm long as the as the guy doesn't turn his ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much. He doesn't turn around up there and he can get out, then he's good. Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling Okay, okay, okay. We gotta now. be ready for the unexpected though. We gotta be ready for the unexpected. I oh, can't oh. believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Okay, okay, okay. Good plan, Peggy. Oh, Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Okay. Uh, focus, focus, focus. It. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. Okay, hurry up then. Hurry up, though. I'll Don't shuffle. When I get there. Don't shuffle there. Oh, no. I'm scared. Do you think he'll make it okay? I hope he I'm does. Sure he'll be fine. I don't want to mess this up. But now, what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those Okay, cabinets. so what are we gonna do? We gotta think of something else. So what do we do? Maybe we could... Oh! No, Peggy, say your idea! Coming. You ready? Not really? What do I do? Ready as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Okay. Mr. Russell, are you there? Russell? I am. I don't think he saw me. Okay. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Yeah, I understand that. Right. Let's review where we are. So the only way out is by the stairs. Right. Which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Right. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Okay. Okay. Can you lock him in a room? Well, I don't know about that. I don't think he can fight him. Can you lock, you him, in lock a room? him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the hmm. fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Dang. He'd be able to get out just as soon as. Wait. Wait. Oh? No. No, no, no. I got it. What, what, what? The secret archive through my office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Okay. Ooh, a secret archive? Okay. I would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space. Oh, do aliens exist? Now is not the time, Peggy. Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Let me put Kids, it down. We're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. Okay, what is Secret it? What is it? Archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only oh, the and he's already in there. You can't break out. If we can get him in there. And I lock him in. But how do we get him we in can there? Catch the son of a gun. I don't know. Exactly. We can get him in. There's no phone in there. I know oh he's right God. there next to there. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive um, is for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in. There. Yeah. So how do we get him in there? We're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Is there? A TV in there? Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Okay. Think of something else. My bad, dang. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one okay. in my office. What, so you're going to use yourself as bait? You were what just saying it? chop a your head off. sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. See, let's use that. 
Uh, I hope Glad he's a, a radio fan there. He's a scream. He to a scream fan. Sixteen. The scream. Gallows Creek's best, best and, and only late oh. night Colin show. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self advertisement from Dang. Brian Ponty, not you. Dang. Don't be a Ponty Forest. That's low. That's actually oh, really low. Idiots. I can't believe you compared me to him. His portable radio should still be here. It you know what? Here in the arc. I think I need to go get the other little radio. Let me just take a peek around. Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect place. Yay! Exactly as planned. Yep. That was a uh, hundred percent just me thinking ahead. Yep. Exactly. As I, I I know I exactly what I'm doing. Right I'm not winging this. It's all coming together. I'm so good at I'm this. I'm gonna turn it on quickly. Make sure it's still got some juice. Turn the volume Maurice, down. turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. No, you that. didn't. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Yeah, please, please. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Sure. The radio works. If I make it all Yo, alive, we're actually doing really I'll well. I'll just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't uh, leave the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Uh, oh, um, what point. do we do? What do we do? What do we do? But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're True. ready. If you can do that, then... Okay, so basically yeah, don't make any noise. Sure. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. What does that mean? But after your earlier self-advertisement... My I, bad. I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Okay, okay. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Okay, so he needs Where to... should we send the killer? Uh, oh. Send him to the boardroom. Let's send it, because the kitchen's too close. Let's send him to the boardroom. The, board the extension is he, zero four. He didn't go in the boardroom. That might yet. work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Oh, I think I'm we sure. should. Make I think we call. should. Okay. Calling the I, I feel now. like that it, he was not gonna check the office space again. He has to check a place he hasn't checked yet. Checked yet. Ooh, I really hope we made a He's good choice. I'll call you guys for my I really hope we made a good choice. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. I hope so. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Um, I'll impersonate. I'm gonna do my best impersonation Maurice? of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? Oh, oh back in my day. That mask freaked us slip. What a great plan this is. Wow, he's good at it. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. I think it was oh, pretty good. Coming in. Here we go. I mean, okay, 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 okay. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? Where are you gonna hide? Good question. Uh oh. He's under my desk. But, uh, you can see under it. I think we gotta send him somewhere else. I've got a big cabinet, but, uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Where should he go? Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but, uh, that's where the Okay, where should he go? Where should he go? Where should he go? Where should he go? I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your uh, judgment um... Alive so far, Nash. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Under the desk. In your cabinet. Just just hide in the cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well. You know why? It. Because he has to lock the door on him. Going to go turn he the has to lock the door on him still. Now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. We know the plan. You Don't say anything. Us. Don't say anything. Here we go. Uh oh, don't say anything. We don't say anything. Don't say anything. Not yet, 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 not yet. Not yet. I think not it yet. should be safe now for us. Oh! Uh, I knew it! No more hiding! 
I knew we man. should not say anything I've there. Been on the beat longer than you've been alive. Come on down. <laughs> I love man. this. Come and get a knuckle sandwich. Is he Scottish? Come and get a knuckle sandwich. Okay, I think we did it. I think we did it. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Screen. I hope we did it. And if you've just tuned in. See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the whistling man. Okay, perfect. Forrest, you beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are goaded. Frankly, was there any ever was on, there Maurice, ever, ever any doubt? Ever any doubt? There's no Thank doubt on my part. God, it's over. I'll be off now. Got to get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. Yeah, just don't. I honestly, stay inside. I feel waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Yeah. Hey, maybe you and me could do I still feel like he's going to get out though. He's probably going to get out. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is all locked, locked up, up, all in a day's work. And play some killer tunes. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I am very, very shocked that I'm doing this well. Because I really think there was a lot of opportunities for me to fail. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Yeah. Right. Thank because God, the whistling man's over. locked up. I guess we got some downtime now. Yeah. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. You Let's put this sure way. about that? You're not. So I don't scared. need this anymore. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Oh, let me learn about you, Peggy. I want to learn more about you. Maybe I'll. Uh, all right. What do you want right. to sure. know? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Um, Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Are you trying to find out nope. if I'm single? No, that's too specific. Too specific? I, I feel like she's trying to flirt. Low key. Peggy. Peggy. I don't. I'm an only child and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Is there anything down here? Is that an emergency button? Oh, 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 you're sorry, why'd you do it? You're sorry, why? Did you do it? Of course not. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm Peggy. With you. Anyway, we're joking, we're joking. What about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought okay, I wait. was asking the question. The killer you are, was here. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well. What? My folks went the same way as yours. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. What a coincidence. Huh. Are we what secret sister? Secret sister? Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. And oh. That was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. I'm she sorry, to Peggy. She forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, um, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and oh. my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear. Oh that my goodness, Peg. we're really spilling here. Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be. It's okay. Sorry. I know. I'm sorry. Dang, I'm my bad. Defensive about that name. My bad. Any my bad. Siblings? Funny you mention that now. Let's play an ad. No, not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't Teddy seen Gallows her since Jr. before my dad. About Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What? What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't Pause. know. Do you want to go check it out? No. Me? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's KFAM regulations. What? I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Oh, wait. Hey, Peggy. Wait, wait, wait. You getting up? Uh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Peggy. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, walk. Get up one walk more time. The front door. See you in a bit. Okay, thanks for that. How come I can leave the booth but you can't? Okay. Key found, second floor Down to stairway. The first floor, then check the door. <gasps> oh. 
locked tight. Wait, what key do I have? Is it here? Oh no. Oh no, I'm scared. Because that's the padlocked. So we're on the second floor. This is the first floor. Hello? There's a tape a here. Tape. Play, Play me on air. Air. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's this? Can I go here? What's over here? I feel like we're gonna have to do something with phones soon because there's a bunch of phones all throughout the office. What is this? What's that? Oh my goodness. This is a whole maze? Okay, let me put that back. Cause I feel like I'm gonna need that eventually, but I know where it is. Let's go back in the office. I feel like eventually the whistling man is going to come to our office and like come through the door. We might have to juke him or something. Uh who was there? Nobody. I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. I thought the I heard footsteps. Set through the door. It says, play me on air. I'm ready to play. Right. Put it on, I guess. Let's see what it is. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time uh. to pay for lives. Okay. Time to sit there. Suffer. You. Why does Peggy got to get involved in this? Why do I got to be involved in this? I did not enjoy that. I didn't enjoy that either. I... Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Sorry about that, that uh, ad. Uh, wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. Sorry Good to board. our 10 viewers, our 10 listeners. Maurice locked the killer up. I know. Like, literally, we have like, what, 10 listeners? Five listeners? Two listeners? How many listeners do we really have? Hey, we had a call come in. I suppose I should take this call. Collar, you're on 189.16. The Scream, the scream with, with four. Ash, shut up, Maurice? You're back? Russell? I thought you were- What's wrong? Are you okay? Bro, I thought you were good. Listen. He's gone. The whistling man is gone. He broke out. So the one who left the cassette, he really did escape. Bro. You mean you knew he escaped and you didn't? Tell me. Hey, 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 hey. We didn't want to worry you. We didn't want to worry you, bro. It was him. Mr. Russell, where are you now? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. Okay. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep... Why would you come... Why would you go back? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Door was shut. Just as I left it. Does the whistling man just poof in the air? Well... There was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. And? They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Okay. Did, did you, you let, him, let escape? him escape? Of course we didn't. I demand you retract that accusation. Okay. Maurice, just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. Sure. Sure. The guys Maurice. just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. And? I braced myself and... Yeah. Then? Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. How did he escape then? The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure what? it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy. What? But if he's back from the dead, then... I doubt it. No. Don't be ridiculous, Peggy. Don't it's not a ghost. Don't be ridiculous, Peggy. It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Nah, nah, nah. There's no way. I think there's a secret, there's a secret Ooh, exit in did there. Did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. What? I don't want anything more to do with this. You don't have to have anything to do I'm with it. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. Well, really Maurice stuck. is no more help. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer? Who turned out to be a demonic spirit? No. He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? Now it's 1.04. Okay, so we've made it to 1 a.m. We've you made again. it to 1 a.m. And it's supposed to go to 6 a.m., I think. Wait, four hours? The grocery store cannot whistle. 
We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All okay. right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. I don't even know what that means. What's up, Peggy? It just set under my door. Go play it. Okay. Let me out. Oh, I didn't respond. I, I sorry. I'm sorry, Peggy. I I didn't mean to not not respond to you. Play me ASAP off air. What is this, Peggy? What is this, Peggy? I'll try your call again. <laughs> Straight to voicemail. My God. Are there any professionals at KFAM? Huh? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because right. your I've backwater got it. station has Did we not honored an ad or our something? agreement. Wait, pause yeah, it, pause know. it, pause it. It was buried in my work mail. I only just saw it. See what it says. Okay, uh, who is it? We gave you Mr. Play me ASAP hold on, hold on. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. Who's Reggie? And he wrote it in purple. What's wrong with writing something in purple? Purple is Reggie's angry color. Oh. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. Oh. Ah! He has an angry color? He has an angry color. Oh, Forrest. I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. Okay. Right now, we need to play that tape. Okay, okay. Use you as single, the kind of honor you never huh? had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. What? I'll be frank. I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, uh, you had a friendship with Mr. Nash. Oh, no, the, 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 the subtitles are not lined up, so I don't know what they're saying. I don't know what they're talking about. she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Final Breath? That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher? Final Breath. I don't know who that is. I used, used to be a, to be a big, big deal. deal I don't know. People. I don't know I who that is. Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. Uh, I can't uh, believe I don't, you yeah, I can't believe we know him either. New single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? Sheesh. I don't know. I don't know. They mailed it to K fan, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Oh, I don't want to go downstairs. Man, downstairs scares me. Anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. Uh, okay. We're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go play okay. the song before Gina sues the pants off us. So basically, Gina saying we have a deal with them to play. Roddy's song, who's famous in in Britain, and we haven't played the songs. So now they're mad. I think that's that. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. Uh oh, here we go. This must be it. Final breath. Barb, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends, though. Brad, you owe me five bucks for the festival tickets. Brad is a loser. Hello, is anybody out here? Nobody's out here. You won't even let me leave. I guess. Okay, what's over here? There's more over here. I feel like all these phones are going to, um, I feel like all these phones are going to bite me later. Good luck, good, good, good job on the new job. Jeannie, I'm so proud of you. Make lots of friends and work hard. Mom, aww. All right, put that there. Uh, final breath, final breath. Oh, here we go. Right here. Final breath. Let's see what this famous singer is going to sing. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Nice. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for Let's see what this sounds like. Treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself. Yep. Is a track you won't hear everywhere. Yeah. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. All right. Roddy Snatcher. Roddy, do your thing. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. Hey, it's, I'm he the best is. too. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. 
I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, did you he just talked through the whole song? Wow. Oh, whoops. It's okay. The I whole song. I'll loop later. Oh shoot! I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. All right. Good hopefully, evening, um, it's nothing that Nash. you know. Post was life or death? One eighty nine point sixteen. The scream. And tonight's, and tonight's nine one one stand in. Thank you. Thank you. This is Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> Hi, Murphy. Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, boss. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Okay, happy birthday, Fernando. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. Aww, how cute. Now, now why are you calling? How to laugh. Most importantly, how to love. Okay. Aww, happy birthday, Fernando. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, um, happy birthday, happy birthday Fernando. Fernando. Okay, now what are you calling about? And now, my other thing. Yeah. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. Huh? You think you're tough. Don't call him after you. Don't do that. Ruben, come face me. A true warrior at the gallows waste disposal. Bro, plant. don't do that. That is, that is a bad this idea, is Murphy. This a bad idea, Murphy. Right here? I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's dojo series. Uh-oh. He thinks he... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Murphy, go be a father to your kid and celebrate <sighs> and with cake and ice cream. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Bro. Although having There's no way he thinks he could take Robbie yet earlier. Uh well, never mind. Don't get your hopes up too much. <sighs> There's no way. Anyway, this man's we'll really right ready to throw hands. After this commercial. Commercial. Let's do this one. Oh. Take this out. Drop that. Oh, wait, no, no. We can pick that up. Put that here. Put that here. Put that there. And play. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man. Okay. A devout Christian and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, okay. improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place okay. to raise a family. Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Teddy hey. Gallows Jr. lives in is this, Gallows is this Creek. A, this is a, uh, uh, and he political ad? Mayors, like Sheriff Matthews, who after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Wow. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't Mayor believe Cartwright? in keeping a good Mayor Cartwright? out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? What does Linda do? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. Linda. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Yes. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name Jr. is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this. That was the most generic ad God, I've okay. ever heard. 100% great a Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. Okay, good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Oh. Right. <laughs> Let's those just people. get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. Yes! That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. Mm. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. You know what to do. All right. Hello, caller. You're live Hi, on the screen. You're live. With me, Forrest Nash. And Peggy. <sighs> this better not be one of those uh, teens again. I'm not going to say anything. Are you okay? Are you do you need okay? help? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me. Who is this? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me. Jesus. Who is this? Hey, listen, caller, don't panic. 
And it's why would he call before down. approaching we her? We can help you. A few times already? So... Yes, I did save them. I saved both of them. You sure did. You're insane. I'm not gonna lie. When okay. you call... Okay. Forrest Nash, Peggy, you. and Shonix, you you're in your safe name, hands. I haven't Sullivan. let a single person die yet, and they're not Virginia. going to. Sorry. Take some Dr. deep Sullivan. breaths, Virginia. If you're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't, I, I won't, won't, I won't, I won't. We're gonna do our calm best. down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. What? Can you hide? Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Where are you? Mm, call a neighbor? Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Where are you? You didn't even say where you are. There's just a fraternity down the street. You fraternity. live by a frat house. Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Oh, Wait, frat oh, fraternity, fraternity. They're getting wasted. Fraternity, fraternity. I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. I can't where, think. Where... I can't. Where Any is idea it? what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Oh my goodness. Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Can you not say anything? Can you not say anything worthwhile? Please. Don't be a child. I want to say that so bad. Don't worry. Don't we'll worry. figure it out. We'll figure it out. Well, folks, seems like our oh, no. Virginia. Please, oh no! Please, oh no! I need to save her. We try to figure out what takeout to order. Here's some music for your own. Oh no! Snacks. Okay, okay, okay. So a frat. Oh, music. I don't know. I just keep playing this one. Okay, Peggy. No, we're not gonna introduce the song. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? What places? Off the top of my head. Uh, well. There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree. Okay, okay. And you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Okay. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. So, That's it, they I probably think. got pizza. They probably got pizza. Let's get calling. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. Oh. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long Bro, time. this is a small so town. Why is there so much competition? This. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from. Yeah. Call the takeout, pretending to be from the frat. Okay. Place an order and include a note asking them to call the station. Okay. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got we gotta figure it out. I hate this you town. Know, it's things like this that make me hate this town. So. Complain after you say her. I'm trying to figure out where she might be. And where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. How come Thanks, you have all the keys and I have no keys? Okay. What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? We need to go over here. Open that door. And ugh, there's so many different rooms in here. There's so many different rooms in here. How big is this game? And this is an emergency exit? Locked. For now. I don't like that for now. I feel like I'm gonna have to run at some point. Private. Yo. That's not opening. I feel like I'm gonna have to hide at some point. Yo, I'm scared. Okay, hold on. Oh, can I play this? I can't. Out of order. Check back with tomorrow. Okay, fine. Sheesh. Gallows High might help. Okay, so Gallows High is probably the school. It's probably near Gallows High, but it needs to be something a food takeout menu. Rooting through trash. Ah, Ponty's Pizza. Ooh. Interesting offer. Okay. Hey, find anything useful? I did. Turn that down. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? I Let's am. Make the call. When you're ready, shut the music off. Oh, stop the music. Okay, right. first, what'll it be? Ponty's Pizza. Call Ponty's oh, I pizza. hope I did this right. It. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. 
Ponty's pizza is on the line. Okay, okay, okay. Do this right. Do this right. Ponty's pizza. May I take your order? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Slow roast pizza? Oh, man. I got a frat to feed. I really hope so he's not. Oh, this is so bad. Pizza. Oh, a fine choice. But that will take three hours. You sure? Never, Never mind. mind. Just give me the garlic bread. Can do. Where do you want that to live? <laughs> okay. Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, Are we good? One okay. more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? Please tell me this is the right choice. Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans. I, I really, really hope together. we made the right choice. I should really call them and let them know. I really, and really hope I wait. made the right choice. We should put a song on. Agreed. I don't want to put a song this one on. This goes out to our delivery workers. Oh my goodness. I don't want to put a song on, but okay. I'm a little bit nervous. I feel like maybe Shy have looked a little harder. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all. Why do I feel equal. like we're slowly gonna fall in love with Peggy? Equally good? You mean equally good? Yeah. Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Okay. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa cobbers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want Ooh, really, really, really good nachos good from nachos. like movie theaters? It can so change good. depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. I feel like we're going to invite her out at some point. Like... Oh, let me stop the music. Okay. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. Hey, hey, hey. We this did is it. Frat Man Plunker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Plunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And? Oh. Is this Goose? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. You, please. Listen. Goose? There's a woman. A There's a woman. Friend. Um, what if I, should I go with this? Sure. Whatever, it, it's Goose. Now listen, I. Goose, dude, get your ass. Oh no, did I do the wrong? Did I do the wrong so choice? Beer. Uh, listen, I need you to. Goose, come get beer. Your brothers are waiting. If this for guy you. doesn't listen. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? What could he do? What can we do? Oh, let me get a second opinion. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Norman the Barbarian. Norman the what Barbarian. What are these names? Plunker? <laughs> the Barbarian? Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control it. Okay. So, play us the flow. Oh, yeah, Wait, yeah, the really? flow. What? The flow? Here we go, I Norman got you. Norman the Barbarian! I got it, I got it. it. Okay, okay, I'll play the song. I got it. The flow. Oh, sh okay, okay, radio man. You got my attention. Hey! Thank God. Listen. All right. You gotta get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just... Say no more. Walker's moving the house. Okay. Wait, did he... Is Forest, it the right house? Line two. Line two? Hello, you're live on... Is that pe um, um, Virginia? The Scream. Forrest, it's the killer. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh my God! It's it's. Oh no! Isn't it? God, I didn't talk. I promise. What? <gasps> oh my goodness! We saved her. We saved her. Oh, thank God. He's God. And oh. Oh, is that you, Radio Man? Oh my goodness! We did it. Don't worry. We brought the beer. Good times are here. Thank you, Plunker. Even though you're. Your name sucks. You, You're welcome, we did Virginia. that. I don't and thank like you literally and his fraternity. We're brothers. just so good. Some heroes we're just that wear good. Tapes. Some wear sheets as togas. We're literally just so good. Hey Forrest, did you hear what Virginia said earlier? 
What was yeah, that something about? about a Clive. I didn't Clive talk. Didn't talk. Do what was that? Named? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. There's right, a thousand folks. people in this town. There's probably Seems not that many Clives. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could yes, save please. lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Do we now? Hello, caller. You're live on You're the live screen, on screen with, with me, me Shonix. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local Who is this? small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town. Terrible. <sighs> I hear um, you okay. It's a scary time for everyone. It is a scary God, time. Too. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small, small business. business. It's what kind of small business? Family friendly place. Good for you. What small oh, business do you own? What small business do you I own? I feel like I need to know. Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion. It better not be Ponty's. It better not be Ponty's. It's Ponty's. I pizza! knew it! The best and only pizza place in town! <laughs> Come on down. I, I it knew it! Don't free ads! I knew it. I, I was like. I guess oh, this is a little right. bit suspicious. Yeah. Calling Ponty's did save Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing. I wonder if Ponty oh, is like going to be I the silly be serial killer. Look, man. he's gone now. We already I have somebody it. else on the line. <laughs> Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Oh my goodness. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Evening, caller. Hi. This is Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash Post on something, something, something. The scream. The scream. And tonight's 911. Leslie, standard. can you hurry up? Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Sure, our Hi, caller. Eugene. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. Oh, I'm hanging oh, out oh. in the middle of the maze maze, listening well, you need to love your show. Looking up at the stars and waiting for her. Is that the you maze maze? a special maze? lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. Aw, isn't that cute? Let's isn't that adorable? Lost in the maze maze tonight to take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. Okay. That's why I'm calling, actually. I You're I lost, thought aren't you? I be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, uh -huh. I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Was he stood up? Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For uh -oh. real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you oh, really no. need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Oh no. Oh no. Uh go Eugene, home to your parents. You really need to go home to your parents. I'm so sorry, bro. My parents are dead, actually. But uh <laughs> Oh jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. My bad. Hang on. I'm sorry, bro. I hear some rustling. No, 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 get out of there. After all. Molly! No, 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 Eugene. Eugene, don't do it. It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh, thanks again. No, 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 Eugene, don't do that. I knew it. Molly can't whistle. Eugene, get out of there. Oh, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Oh, boy. Okay, we need to be smart about this. Just run through the walls. Just run through the walls. It's only corn. It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just walk through walls, Forrest. Dang it. She's right! I... Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. And call back in a minute. We'll get okay, you okay, okay, okay. Okay, I... that maze thing that I saw earlier, I'll do it it's gonna help. Me. But please, hurry. I am, I am, I am, I am. Well, listeners, while um... Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Yep, here you go, guys. You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a maze maze for We're gonna go, we're gonna go. Stop talking. Here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Okay, um, uh, maybe, maybe we should call we should Barbara? Call Barbara then, if she's so big on the maze maze. No, I gotta go. Let me through. Her number. But oh, she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. I saw it downstairs. Let me get it. That'll okay, hopefully thank be you. enough. Uh, which one? Receptionist, is Barbara, receptionist. Do, do you not, do you Barbara, not have good memory? You know, Barbara. 
Uh, receptionist. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help Forrest, me out, are you? She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. You know what? Forrest Never only got eyes for you, she's Peggy. Talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right. Yeah. Sorry. I guess it's just the stress of. No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Honestly, I think Forrest only got eyes for you, Peggy. I'm just gonna say that. That's what I think. Go in here. I got it. Uh oh. This is complicated. Okay. This. We need to save Eugene, guys. I'm not gonna let nobody die. We're not ending this with someone dying. No. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the. Okay. Main Focus. Why is it in the trash? But never mind. It doesn't matter right now. That's a question oh my for Barbara goodness. later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Tractor. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Okay, Forrest. Oh shut the music off. no. Welcome back to 189.16, The oh, Scream. No. Oh, no. I hope you no. lovers like that track. And I hope we can help oh, our no. lover in the maze oh, no. maze. Eugene, you're back on Oh, air. no. <laughs> I'm lost, Forrest. I just that, ran. That whistle I, was loud. I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. Okay, he's right there here. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Okay. Uh oh. Go left. Go left. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, uh oh. I went left, then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creepy rocking horse on my left. Go. Go backwards. Go backwards. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Fighter over. Oh. Yeah. I'm at a crossroads. Let's take her to dinner or something. Statue up ahead. Which way? Five. Left, left, left. Go left. Okay, we're okay. We're doing good. 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 Eugene, don't cry! I got you! I got you! There's a tiny barn in front of me and a scarecrow behind me. Nothing to my sides. Turn right. Go right. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Eugene's gonna be saved. You're almost out. Much more. You're almost out. We're, 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 we're good, we're good. A corn silo. Okay. Else. Okay. Oh my goodness. Please. Where do I go? You just passed it. Go right. Oh, right. oh please tell me that works. Oh my goodness. Don't throw out. Don't 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 puke. I'm out. Oh, oh my, my goodness. <laughs> Bike oh, out of there you like you are on a the Cirque de France. I love you, Molly. Excuse that me. Was I love you, Molly. Did Molly help you out of there? Wait, where's I love you, Forrest? Well, I love you, Peggy. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Dang. That's tough. It is 149. And thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Okay. I think. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up, Forrest, so take it away. All right, we're gonna leave this here. I'm definitely very invested in this game. I think there's still, we've been playing this for like how long? Uh, like an hour and 15, it's almost like two hours. I think this is a four to six hour game. I love interactive stories and I love puzzles. So it all works together and I love horror. It all works together. So if you guys wanna see another episode, don't forget to like and subscribe to join the squad. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Shotty's up in here, this is an anthem.